everyone! In today's video, I want to introduce you to an amazing platform that lets you use Sora 2 completely for free to create your videos. There's no watermark, you don't need any credits, and honestly, it's one of the best tools I've discovered for helping you grow your content and create powerful videos and animations. So let's get started. We're going to create a few images together, and then we'll use the exact same images inside Sora to turn them into a full animation. The great thing about this platform is that it has no limits and uses zero credits, so you never have to worry about running out. Click on the link I've placed for you in the description and open Whisk AI. I've already made a full tutorial before, but for now, let's move quickly and create a few images to build our animation. I'll copy and paste my first prompt here. I'll also upload this prompt to my Telegram channel and Discord. Both links are in the description. In Discord, you can grab the prompts, ask your questions in the chat room, and if you create any videos, feel free to share your results in the AI image and video section. There's also a rewards section where you can check all the details. So I'm pasting my first prompt now, adjusting the size to make sure it's YouTube friendly, and then we'll wait for the first image to generate. Now, because we wanna create a long animation with a consistent character, it's important to use this section correctly. Let's quickly review how to create images with the same character. Whisk has given us two images for our first prompt. Take a look and download the one that's closest to your project style. Now I'm going to copy my second prompt from here. I'm using very simple prompts for this tutorial, but I'll upload the full detailed prompts, including camera movements and advanced settings inside my Discord account. You'll find everything there. So I'll paste my second prompt into this section and hit generate. Let's wait a moment while it creates the next image. All right, it's ready. Check your results to make sure they match the style of your project. For example, here you can see this one has an issue. If your image doesn't look right, it's totally fine. Just click this button and generate a new batch. The tool is extremely fast and powerful. And as you know, Whisk Gamer Hate is completely unlimited. Now our new images are ready. It gave me these two options. I'm going to select this one and download it. Next, let's grab prompt three from here. In this prompt, what I'm trying to achieve is to place a kind of fantasy creature, like a mythical beast, behind my main character. So I'll delete the previous prompt and paste the new one. Now pay close attention. On the left side, when you click this button, a new panel opens. You can also click this button here. This is where we upload our reference images. I'll click upload image and upload the first image that belongs to this character. You'll see a little plus sign at the top. Click it to upload your second reference image as well. I'll repeat the same process to add my second character reference. Now we just wait a few seconds for the images to fully upload. After our images finish uploading, I click the generate button and wait for it to create two more images. This time I want the second character to appear behind my main character. So I'll wait for it to render that composition. And here it is. As you can see, it generated my main character and placed the creature behind them exactly the way I wanted. Check both results and download the one that fits your project best. Next, I'm going to grab another prompt from here, again, related to these two characters. I'll upload all the full detailed prompts on Discord for you. Here in the video, I'm only using simple prompts so you can see how incredibly powerful this AI tool is, even with minimal instructions. So I'll delete the previous prompt and paste the new one. Then I click this button again and wait for it to generate the next reference image. Once this final image is ready, just download the one you like the most. Now we're ready to move on to the animation step using Sora 2. To access Sora 2 completely for free, click the link I've placed for you in the description. It will take you to Gemini Gen AI, the platform you see here. This is the homepage and you can create your videos totally free with no credits required. There's just one important step. 
Before you start, you need to sign up. Click the sign up button and you'll see this window appear. Simply continue with your Google account or Gmail and you'll be able to use this AI tool with zero credits, zero watermark, and completely free video generation. But here's my personal recommendation. Use a temporary email to sign up. Right now, Sora 2 is completely free and doesn't require any credits, but we don't know what will happen in future updates. They might bring back limitations later, so it's better not to use your main Gmail account and instead create an account you won't mind losing if restrictions return. Up here, we need to enter a name. I'll just type something random. And in this field, we need to enter our email. Click the link I've placed for you in the description to open the temporary email platform. Simply press the generate button and it will give you a new email address. Choose one you like and copy it. Now come back here and paste the email. Next, create a password. Make sure you remember it because you'll need it for future access. Another important thing, Keep the temporary email you used saved somewhere because we'll need it for the next step to unlock unlimited usage. And later, anytime you need to log in or log out, you can always use the same temporary email. Finally, click Create Account. Now let's go back to our temporary email. You should see a message asking you to activate your account so you can start using the platform. Here it is, I'll click on the activation button. It opens this page and as you can see, it has accepted our temporary email with no problem. Now I click on log in. This is where we need the email we just used. So I'll go back to the temporary email page, copy the address, return here and paste it. Then I'll enter my password. I'll also check this box so my password stays saved. Click continue and it will take us to the main dashboard. As you can see, we have 40 credits in this account right now, but don't worry, for creating videos with Sora 2 free, we don't need any credits at all. Scroll down to the section. Here we have the tools we can use, including Sora 2. You'll notice Sora 2 shows a free label. Click on it. There's also Sora 2 Pro, but that requires a paid subscription. For everything we're doing in this tutorial, the free version is more than enough. No watermark, no credit usage, and completely free video. Now click Add Image. Click inside this box and upload your first image. It uploads very quickly. Next, I'll go back and copy my first prompt, paste it here, and get everything ready. Now pay attention to this section at the bottom. This is the generate button and right next to it, you'll see your credit count. Mine shows zero credits used and we still have 40 credits available. But again, Sora 2 free doesn't require credits, so you don't need to worry about it at all. Below that, you can choose your video size. For YouTube, use landscape. If you're making videos for TikTok or Instagram Reels, select portrait. Here we have the duration settings. In the free version, you can generate 10 second videos. If you want 15 seconds, you'll need to upgrade to the subscription plan. Now I click on generate video with Sora 2 and wait for it to create my video. For each clip, I usually make around 10 videos and on average, it takes about three to four minutes. There's a short waiting screen, it isn't long at all. As you saw, mine took only about 20 seconds before it started generating. The actual rendering time is usually just a few more seconds. By the way, if this video has been helpful so far and you haven't subscribed yet, I'd really appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. If you're enjoying the tutorial and it's useful for you, make sure to like the video, share it with your friends, and hitting the hype button would mean the world to me. Thank you so much for your support. It truly gives me energy to keep creating more content for you. All right, now we wait for the video to finish generating. Once it's ready, I'll show you a little trick for downloading it easily. After that, we'll look into how you can add even more detail to your videos and create higher quality, more professional results. Great, our first video is ready. 
before we continue, there are a couple of important tips you need to know if you plan to use this platform effectively. But first, let's take a look at the final result. As you can see, Sora 2 has created our video with sound effects and even lip syncing, which is amazing. And this is the final outcome. School. Remember the day it defied me. <laughs> Now let me show you how to download your video. Look down here, we have a download button, right? When I click on it, it won't let us download the file. So let me close this and try again. Even if I click the download button from here, it still doesn't work and you won't be able to save your video. And as you can see, the video has no watermark at all. So how do we download it? It's easy, just open the video, right click on it, and select Save Video As. Then choose any folder on your computer and save it. I'll close the page now, and here it is. The video has been saved. Let me play it. Perfect, no watermark whatsoever. So this is the simple method you can use to download your videos quickly and easily. All right, let's go back to the next part. Here we click on Add Image and upload our next photo. For example, this last one. Now I'll bring in the prompt. This is the prompt, and I'm only using the first line of it. I'll paste it right here. As you already know, the highest video quality Sora gives us is 720p. This is the standard resolution that Sora uses to generate our videos. And this section right here is where we set the video creation mode. Right now it's on basic, but we also have an advanced option on the side. When I click on advanced, this window opens for me. If I switch back to basic, you can see the simple mode. The size, duration, and everything else are all shown here. We still have our four credits available. Nothing has been used yet. It also says we need credits for generating the video. Now let's go back and click advanced again. This is the window that appears. We've already uploaded our image and we've added our prompt. So everything is correct up to this point. But here, in this section, we can describe more details about our subject. Below that, we have the action area. This is where you define the exact movement you want in your video. And right here, you can even set the camera style. Let me open it for you. Look, it has different camera modes you can choose from. Make sure to use these options if you want to create your video with Sora 2. They help a lot in improving the quality and giving your video a more cinematic look. I changed my mind, so I'm going back and copying the full prompt this time. Of course, there are even more complete prompts available. You can find them on Discord or Telegram if you want the best results. But since this is just an educational video, I'm using shorter prompts so I can simply show you the power of the AI. Now let me generate the video first. As you can see, it's starting the creation process. Here's our waiting time, seven seconds. Before, it used to show around 20 seconds, but honestly, most of the time for me, it's only three or four seconds. This time it's seven seconds, still very fast. Now it begins generating the video. And yes, it works at a really good speed. Sometimes there's a little bug here. Usually the video gets stuck at 98%. If that happens, don't worry, just wait for one or two minutes. If it still doesn't move or the video doesn't appear, do this. Scroll down to the bottom and click on Go History. It will take you to the history page and you'll see the video you just generated. You don't have to wait on the stuck screen. Just click the icon at the top left to exit that page. Now you'll see all your projects here. If you click on Studio, it takes you right back to the same creation page and starts generating again from the beginning. So even if it was stuck at 98%, when you go to History and come back, it restarts from 1% and continues normally. So whenever you run into that bug, this is the easiest way to solve it. Now I have two more quick tips to show you. First of all, down here at the bottom of the page, you can see some sample projects that other creators have made with this platform. This platform is Gemini Gen 1, and honestly, it offers a lot of free features. It works really well, and I definitely recommend using it. 
If you like, you can also share your own results on Discord so others can see your work. Just look at these examples. The image quality is super high and the videos look amazing. Now, the next point I wanna mention, in today's tutorial, because I don't want the video to get too long, we're focusing only on the free Sora 2. And as you can see, we're not using any credits at all. At the top of the screen, you'll find the chat with AI section. This is where you can talk to the platform just like ChatGPT. You can ask questions, brainstorm ideas, or get help with anything you need. Next, we have Video Gen. This is the section we're in right now, where we're creating our video. Then we have Imogen and the Speech Gen section, where you can generate different voice styles. If you want to do lip syncing, use Dialog Gen. It's perfect for creating spoken lines. And the best part is that you can use all of these features completely for free. When you sign up, you automatically get four free credits. But here's the good news. For using Sora 2, you don't need to spend any of those credits. You can use the platform completely free with no limits and no credit consumption at all. For generating your videos with Sora, the average processing time on this platform is about four minutes. And if you ever decide you do want to use your credits, you can switch to the V option. But honestly, Sora is much easier. It's fully free, unlimited, and doesn't add any watermarks. I already showed you how to download your videos, so that part is super simple. And if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments. I'll try to reply the same day. You can also share your sample works in the Discord section. I'll drop more information there as well, and you'll get all the updates. There's also a chat area where you can talk with others and a prompt section where you can copy prompts and create high quality images. And this is the final result. School, remember the day it defied me. <laughs> okay, fine, do it. I'm not afraid of you anymore! <laughs> then prove it! <laughs>